Cafe Carib. Um, it's an espresso ground, and in, you can get this here in Connecticut anywhere. Um, it was on sale. A couple videos I've watched, they use uh, a different coffee, but I just don't have access to that here. So I think this will work out fine. This will work good in that mocha pot because it's a finer grind, uh, and it'll be better than the stuff that I brewed in the mocha pot, which was basically just to season it. Um, the wife picked me up this kind of airtight container to stick it in. So I know, still not gotten to the point where I'm going to grind my own beans just yet. Uh, I'd like to get that way someday, but right now, it's just not going to happen for now. So yeah, this is a, definitely a fine grind. 100% um, Cafe Puro, it says. Like this was on sale, I think, for like 350, and it's a 10 ounce, 10 ounce package. Um, basically, Cafe Crib is dark roast espresso coffee, specifically blended for the Latin taste. Make our coffee your coffee. Brew Cafe Crib according to your favorite method. So I'm gonna do the first uh, batch in the mocha pot and then we're going to try to do a Cuban coffee which again does not seem terribly difficult to do but there's some processes you want to follow so you know what? maybe I'll put up a quick espresso in the old machine here see how that goes all right I'll talk to you cats later all right so I'm going to brew up a quick one of these jammy jams now I'm going to refill this water You know, I watched a guy uh, do a video actually for DeLonghi. Oh, if you search it out, he's uh, supposedly some world-renowned barista, and he used this machine to make a few different drinks. He suggested, by the way, um, brewing, just running some water through here to heat things up. He claims, uh, see that's for the pods. This one is for the single shot. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to, he said everything that the coffee touches should be hot. So let's see how that goes. We'll wait for the machine to come up to temp. You can see the machine is blinking, meaning it's not ready yet, up to temperature. Yeah, and it's done. So we're just going to run through some water. I still haven't figured out in the menu how to adjust the volume of your shot. You can adjust temperature, automatic shutoff, descale. There's supposedly a way where you can program it so that you can dial in how much of a shot you get, the volume of it. So we'll see. You know, that's, that's to me a good volume. It's right up to the top. That's, that's to me good. So we're gonna leave this over here. I'm gonna take out my filter. To dry it out very well. You don't want it to be uh, wet at all. Supposedly that starts the brewing process, extraction. My battery died. So what I was saying was that um, I'm still trying to figure out the best way to do this. A lot of times these pucks are coming out soupy, which I'm being told that's normal because it's the, the way this portafilter thing is here. But if I put too much pressure, it almost seems like it's dry in the middle, like the water's not getting through. So the way this guy said to do it, where you press down and twist. water out
So almost to kind of where the water level was. Let's see what we got here. Nice, nice and strong. Much more, much hotter than I've been getting. So that's a good thing. You know, I'm gonna let this dry. And I'm gonna show you what I mean about that puck. See, it's a little bit of soupiness on here. I don't know if that's good, bad, and different. And I've just been knocking it out in this. It doesn't really ever come out well, so I usually have to get a spoon. See, I think that tamp was not good enough, but getting there. 